Well, this is the time of year that it is so very easy to get caught up in the excitement and the stress of the season. So sometimes we need a bit of a reminder that this, for a lot of folks, is a time of faith yes. as well. We need to take a step back. And this morning, we have three religious leaders here to offer their inspiration and guidance. All right. First, the most Reverend Michael Curry, presiding bishop and primate of the Episcopal Church. We have Rabbi Melissa Bayer Whitman, director of lifelong learning at Temple Israel of the city of New York. And resident Imam Idris Abdul Zahir of Masjid. Oh, I almost had it. Say it for me. Masjid Allah. Masjid Allah. This is why you're here, so That's we right. can all learn. That's right. Uh, the Center for Human Excellence in Philly. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you guys all for being here mm -hmm. uh, today. So let's start with this. Uh, Bishop Curry, I'll start with you. Listen, we talk a lot about the countdown to shopping, gifts, what right. kids want, all the that. But I think for you, what do you want to leave us with when it comes to what should be top of mind when it comes to the holidays? But you know, it's funny. I came across a 19th century poem Ooh. by Christina Rossetti. And the first line of the poem is, love came down at Christmas. Mm. Love was born at Christmas. That the message of Christmas, if you will, the heart of it, is that the God who the Bible says is love yes. actually showed up mm. and said, this is what's going to make it. If y'all learn to love each other, he did say y'all too. <laughs> if y'all learn to love each other and love me while you're at it, you can make it. Mm. That's the message of Christmas. You can make it. You can make it. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's fascinating how, as as Bishop Curry's talking, we're all nodding our head. We're, we're all of different religions, different, fa yeah. different faiths. So this is a nice interfaith conversation to have. So what, what would you say to folks? I, I'm thinking at the dinner table, you invite family and friends over. I mean, should we have these conversations at the table or do we have to stay away from religion? Mm. Oh, certainly. Um, you know, we have to, you know, again, remember the reason for the season, right? Mm -hmm. Um, all of our faith traditions speak about peace, love, harmony, kindness, compassion. Um, and so we often have to think about what faith looks like in action. Mm -hmm. And that looks mm -hmm. like having conversation, understanding, trying to find common ground, have yeah. common unity in our community, right? Mm -hmm. And so I just think that um, mm -hmm. one of the biggest things that we can do of, as people of faith, right, is to walk in that faith and be more loving, yeah. be more kind, uh, com uh, caring, and compassionate yeah, in sure. this season and not forget the reason for the season. Rabbi, yeah. Rabbi Melissa, you know, a lot of folks think that this this is the, the best time to sort of reconnect with their faith and, you know, get, and get in step with their faith. You maintain that that, that may not necessarily be so. Mm -hmm. Why? Why? So there's so much around us that reminds us of the holidays. There's decorations everywhere. Sure. There's lists of things that we need to buy and do. Um, but for some, it can be a challenge. It can be a reminder of the losses that they experience yes. here. Um, it could be a reminder that it's been some time since they've stepped into sacred space and they, they may not feel like they're welcome. Of course, you're always welcome all the time. Um, and so we have to work a little bit harder. One of my favorite passages in First Kings, we share mm. this text. Yep. Um, Elijah comes in contact with God, and Elijah recognizes that it's not God's not in the fire, the earthquake, the wind. God's that still small voice mm -hmm. inside of him, inside of yeah. each of us. Mm -hmm. And so, when we think about the holidays, it might just be an opportunity to stop and pause, be present, go inside, reach inside. Mm -hmm. There is something there, and then look around. Can you be more kind? Mm -hmm. Can you be yeah. more connective? Can you recognize the blessings that are yours? They're everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, even those of us who've experienced loss, and many of us have, there is so much around us that we can experience mm -hmm. that is beautiful, and that's where faith, that, that's where faith is. Mm -hmm. right. And how yeah. do you find that patience? I'm thinking, you know, sometimes you have those folks who are over your house who, you know, they just, they want to just deal with the materialistic way of Christmas, you know, but yeah. like, say you have it inside, but it's hard, it's hard to share mm -hmm. with those around. Can, how do you best navigate, it's good. you know, conversations you have with family in your house mm. who, who don't feel faith? The well, way you do. Love them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Just love them anyway. You don't have to agree with them. Yeah. You may or may not even like them. <laughs> love them Sounds anyway. like you've been to my house. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. That's family, but actually do that. Mm. Give them a Christmas gift. Give them a, give them a gift. Uh, give them uh, something. Why? Do something good. Why? 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 You know what? It may do more for you than it does for them. Oh, that's good. Actually do something that brings the good out of you. Right. Mm -hmm. And share it with them. 
Right. Hey, ma'am, what's, gonna, what's going to be your, your message this holiday season to, to mm-hmm. folks who, who come and, and worship with you? So my message has always been about what does faith look like in action? You know, part of what I have done since my aunt passed away several years ago, my uncle's a Christian, and we spend Christmas Day and have Christmas dinner with him. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, because, as you say, yeah. there are some folks that get caught up in the gifts and the goodies and all these different things. But, you know, some people, you know, have a mask on. and They have some deep hurt, some deep suffering that may be happening. Um, and so what you want to do is try to connect with family, yes. try to be there for family. Um, and, that, and that's showing up and being present. Um, and what those, yeah. those memories are what you really hold on to. Uh, you know, when tough times come, when difficulty comes. So, you know, faith in action, working to actually be a blessing and not always be the one actually receiving Mm -hmm. the blessing, perhaps. Mm -hmm. What a great conversation Mm -hmm. on the couch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We should have these conversations more often. Not just around Christmas. (laughs) That's the only time we bring you guys in. It's Christmas and Easter. All right, thank you for being here. Awesome, thank you for having me. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.